Death Valley Days. Wonderful this morning, don't it? After we eat breakfast, we'll go swimming and fishing and, and everything. Yahoo! As your pop comes in from the barn. My, somebody's real happy. I should have known the way you yahooed out there. Sound like one of the Cayuse Indians when he catches one of those big river salmon. And all the time I thought you didn't want to come out here to Wallowa. Didn't want to come out? Why, Wallowa is the best place we ever lived. Been in all those other places in Colorado, Kansas. Oh, gosh, Ma. <laughs> oh, you're Josh. I'm happy too, son. Yeah, all the moving on we've done, I think it's over. We've just been here three weeks and so many good things have happened. I never saw your pa so, so settled and satisfied. Well, it should be. In the store and the white cow and all the other livestock and everybody saying that the territory of Washington has a better future than any other place we've been. And, and all the hunting, fishing and rivers and hills and Ah, gosh, Ma. <laughs> gosh is right. What is it, John? The cattle are gone. Oh, no. Not the white cow. Yes, the white cow, too. Ten out of cattle just can't disappear. Well, they did. They gotta be somewhere in the white cow. Why, there's no other like her. She just can't disappear. She did, son. And old Chief Piatoot was lying when he said she'd bring us good luck. No, the chief was talking. He was trying to raise the price on that cow. It's a Cayuse Indian legend that a white cow with crossed horns is good luck. Good luck or bad luck? She's the best cow stock in the territory. John, what are you gonna do? I don't know. There's not a lawman within 50 miles of here. I better go with the camp and have a talk with the chief. He seems to know everything that's happened here in Wallowa. Maybe he can give me a lead. Can I go? Yeah, sure. We'll eat later. Close the store today. Why, well, it's Saturday. People be coming in. I know. Hey, maybe Pots would come in to buy something. The store can wait. We can't. Morning, Mr. Wiley. Morning, Jake. Morning, Jake. Well, there he goes to get himself an education. Yep, lost himself a cow. Lucky cow. Don't forget the lucky boy. Well, it's lucky for old Chief Pyatt, too. How many times do you figure he sold that cross horn critter, stole it back, and then sold it again? Oh, six, eight times, as near as I can regulate. Old Pyatt, would starve. Might even have to go to work if he didn't have that lucky cow to sell and steal back again. That won't happen. Not as long as there's easy marks like Mr. Wiley moving into Wallow and then going broke and moving on. You know, I kind of feel sorry for him. Well, 
Don't help a fool none to feel sorry for him. Well, I guess it don't. Find the white cow. That's the cows. We have to go away. Go away? Why do you ask that? We still have the store. Yeah, I know, but. Look, son, you like it here in Walwa, don't you? Best place we ever live. Well, don't you worry about it. I promise you we'll stay. Chief, the cattle you sold me are gone. And the white cow, too. You want help find them? Well, I thought you might give me a lead. White man across the river. Maybe they steal. Oh? They steal, do it all the time. You not get them back. But don't look sad. I sell you more cattle. Well, I know, Chief, but things are a little different now. You wouldn't sell me the herd unless I bought the white cow, too. Well, now you don't have the white cow, so there's no reason why I shouldn't look around before I do any more buying. Where'd you look? Best place to look is here. I got plenty good cattle. Got another white cow, too. Oh? You got another white cow? It can't be as good as the first one. Like twins, got proof. What proof? Got same crossed horns. But there can't be two of them. Uh, quiet, son. Same kind of a cow. White. With the same crossed horns. All right, I'll take the cattle chief and the white cow. When can I see him? Oh, no, no. Way down the river take long time to find. I tell you when. And when you buy, I give big feast like last time. Oh. Uh, you got yourself a deal, chief. Come on, son. Pa, there can't be another white cow like the one we had. Chief Piatu's a crook. How do you know? And some kids, grown-ups too. They say he's been cheating people for a long time, especially if they're new. And especially if they don't know any better, son. That might be. But it ain't necessarily so they ain't another cross horned cow like we had. But but even if there is, how are you gonna pay for it? And how are you gonna get the money to pay for another whole herd? Well, we still have the store in the house, we can borrow on them. But if you do that. We do what we have to, son. That's the way life is, whether we like it or not. Now let's leave it at that for now. Satisfied? I don't care what you say. Eddie! I don't care. That is the same white cow. Chief Pytoot and his Indians stole it from him. Then he sold it back. And then he took our money. And then he left. A lot of cows look alike, Eddie. Not that much alike. I never accuse a man unless I can prove he's guilty. Well, what are you gonna do about it? Just let him? Son, there's an old saying. You give a man enough rope and sooner or later he'll hang himself. I gotta get back to the store. I've been gone too long already. You put the rest of the cows in the barn and keep your eye on them until I come back home. You heard what your father said, Eddie. What's the matter with it? Your father knows what's right and wrong better than you do now, son. Go on, do what you're told. Get in there! Get! I've called you a dozen times. Now, where have you been? In the barn. Sit down here and eat your lunch before it gets all stony cold. I'm not hungry. 
Eddie, now you listen to me. You're old enough to be talked to as though you were almost a grown-up man. Your father has made his mistakes. Everybody has, dear, but that's how we learn, by experience. How can we let Pytude sell on the white cow twice? Why? I don't know, but I'm sure he had his reasons. Well, I'm not even sure it is the same cow. I am. Well, I don't want to move anymore. Well, who says you're going to have to? Yes, you are growing up, aren't you? You're to the stage where you think you could judge your father. No. Oh, All right. Your father has owned stores in other towns before, and he's bought cattle. And he's lost the stores, and he's lost the cattle, too. But, son, it's not going to happen again. He bought on the store to buy the white cow back. Eddie, look at me. I haven't lost faith in your father, and I never will. And don't you, don't you ever... Why, as long as the three of us keep on believing in each other, why, there's nothing that can hurt us. Nothing. Do you understand what I mean, son, do you? Yeah, I guess so. Well, you can't just guess so when your faith is being tested. I'm sorry, Mom. Hiya, son. Where you been all afternoon? Oh, uh, just walking around. Ma's been waiting for these things. Now, you get them to her in a hurry, yeah? Yes, Ma. You know, if it's uh, still light enough after we have a bit of supper, we might do a little fishing. I don't feel like it. How's your pa feel about old Piatoot now? Why don't you ask him? Well, you don't have to get so huffy about it. None of your business anyhow. Well, that it ain't. But, uh, well, we feel kind of sorry for it. We don't like to see no tenderfoot come into town and get took in by no conniving redskin. My pa knows what he's doing. Well, he ain't doing very good at it. It's like the storekeeper that was here before him. Old Chief Piatude would sell him cattle that the Indians stole to start with, and then they'd steal him from him, and then make him buy him back all over again. And next thing you know, he ain't got no farm, no cows, or no store. He ain't got nothing, except a lesson that he learned too late. You know, I was you, I'd uh, run home and see if that cow still lay. Shut up! Shut up! Kids are my touchy. Hey, Yellow Belly. What'd you call me? I called you Yellow Belly. That means coward. That means you. You and your old man, he's a real big Yellow Belly. Big fool, too. Who says so? I say so. My old man says so. Everybody says so. What are you going to do about it? You wouldn't fight. I had to, Ma. You didn't have to. You just wanted to. So, when they said that about you, Pa, you thought you could fight your pa's battles, Pa. Well, someone's got to stop him from saying those things about you. Calling me a coward? What's worse, a fool? Now, John, I'm not going to sit here and listen to talk like that. Now, it's better off being said right out than bottled up inside. All right, son, I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to give the people something new to talk about. First thing in the morning, I'm going over and see the chief. Huh? If you're going to go settle things with Chief Pytude, you better take your club or even a gun. 
Oh, it'll be all right, because he's so big and you're so... Ah, oh, you don't have to shoot him. Just scare him. Now, your father didn't say he was going to fight Chief Piatoot. That's right, son, I didn't. But you said... I said we were going to give the people something new to talk about. Now, I don't want to hear any more about it. I've got some chores to take care of. $25 reward for return of white cow, lost, strayed, or stolen last night. Crossed horns form lucky X. No questions asked. You know, he's already bought that white cow back from Chief Piatude once. Now he's gonna do it again. That just shows you how big a fool he is. But I didn't figure he was that much of a fool. Well, now you know. You know, I wouldn't mind having that $25 reward myself. And you wouldn't mind being scalped, neither, because that's what's going to happen to the person that tries to cut Piatude out of collecting the money on that white cow. Hey, come on. Whoa. Wiley! Hello, Chief. Go find them lucky cow. How far'd you look? Looking river, looking hills, no lucky cow. Well, I hope you're gonna keep looking. My people tired looking. What if I raise the reward? Lucky cow gone, nobody find them. Well, Chief, I am a little short on cash, but I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll raise this reward to fifty dollars. Mr. Wiley. I ain't one to put in or anything like that, but you're gonna let that Indian bleed you to death? That's just what he's doing. Now, he knows where that cow is. He's just waiting for you to raise the ante before he brings her in. And you fell for it. Thanks, Zeke, but I think I can take care of this matter. You're gonna take care of yourself right into the poorhouse. That's what you're gonna do. Well, that'll be my tough luck. What about it, Chief? Fifty dollars. Cash? Cash. Hello, son. You know, your mother's been worried about you. I think you ought to get along home. Unless you want to go with me and look for that lucky cow. Mr. Wiley, can't you get it through your head? You don't have to hunt for nothing that ain't lost. And if you're like Pratt, Toot, you know where to find it. I don't think I follow you, Zeke. No, you sure don't. You sure don't. Ah, oh, you're not closing the store again, are you? That's right. Come on. Do I have to? Well, I think it's a pretty good idea, yes. Come on. You know, it appears to me that boy got more sense than his paw. He sure does. Oh. Chief Paitut sure got those people right under his thumb. He's even got the women and the youngsters looking for that white cow. Oh, Paitut knows where it is, all right. You sure, son? Couldn't possibly be that they just don't know where to look. They know where to look, all right. Anyhow, Chief Pottu knows. Look over there. I think they've given up. They're not giving up. They're just taking a rest till you raise the reward again. Well, what makes you think that? Everybody thinks you will. Everybody but me. Here comes the Chief now. Lucky cow lost, lost bad. No find of my people too tired to look anymore. Well, that's very discouraging, Chief. Fifty dollars is a lot of money. Maybe not enough. Maybe we look more, you go higher. Well, uh, I'd have to think about that, Chief. Pa! Uh, Chief, you say your people are very tired. Well, I think it's only fair that they receive some reward for their effort. 
Now, why don't you get them all together and we'll have a barbecue at my place? You feed them all? We feed them all. And the people in town, too. Thank you, sir. I'm plumb full, Mr. Wiley. Thank you. He's as happy as if he had good sense. He ain't happy as happy as old Chief Piatoot. Thing is, if when old Wiley's busted, old Piatoot will still be in business selling his lucky cow. <laughs> Look at him. Look at him. Your father knows what he's doing. How about some more, Chief? Mm, good meat. <laughs> Quiet. Quiet, everyone. Speech! Speech! Give us a speech, Mr. Wiley. I'm not a speech maker, but I just want to say that I'm glad everybody enjoyed our little get-together. And I want to thank Chief Pytoot here for trying to find our lucky cow. But before anyone leaves, there's just one more thing. I've got a big surprise for everybody. What do you suppose that poor fool's gonna do now? I don't know. Oh, Ma, why doesn't he quit? He's not the quitting kind. Look, Eddie. Look! <laughs> Old Pytoot didn't steal the cow. Pa stole it from himself. He knew it all the time. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, you done it, Mr. Wiley. You sure put one over on old Pietude. Yes, sir, you sure did. The old chief's out of business. No more lucky cow to sell and steal. You're quite a man, Mr. Wiley. Sure are. You know people are going to be laughing about this for a hundred years. <laughs> <laughs> The chief ain't laughing. You know what you ought to do with these, Mr. Wiley? You ought to nail them over your store. They'll make you lucky. The people will come from miles around just to see him. Hey, that's a good idea. We'll nail them up for you, Mr. Wiley. Well, yeah, thanks. let's do that. Come on. Hey, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Why didn't you tell me? Why didn't I tell you what, son? That your pa might be smarter than he looks? <laughs> you wouldn't have believed me anyway, oh, would you? Oh, John, stop teasing him. Your father was never afraid of Chief Piatoot, or anyone anywhere we've ever lived. But using a gun or a club on Piatoot wouldn't have proved a thing. This has. Well, it cost me a mighty good white cow, but I guess it was worth it. <laughs> pa, now they're laughing with you. Get at you. Death Valley Days.
it look wonderful this morning? Don't it? After we eat breakfast, we'll go swimming and fishing and, and everything. Yahoo! <laughs> As soon as your pa comes in from the barn. My, somebody's real happy. I should have known the way you yahooed out there. Sound like one of the Cayuse Indians when he catches one of those big river salmon. And all the time I thought you didn't want to come out here to Wallowa. Didn't want to come out? Why, Wallowa is the best place we ever lived. Better than all those other places in Colorado, Kansas. Oh, gosh, Ma. <laughs> oh, you're Josh. I'm happy, too, son. Yeah, all the moving on we've done, I think it's over. We've just been here three weeks, and so many good things have happened. I never saw your pa so, so settled and satisfied. Well, it should be, with the store and the white cow and all the other livestock, and everybody saying that the territory of Washington has a better future than any other place we've been, and, and all the hunting, fishing, and rivers, and hills, Ah, oh, gosh, Ma. 